ocean and a pullin' in the great big harbor in the great big world is so much fun. So many friends and things to discover. Waking with the sun, gotta get the job done. Oh, Theodore and Emily, Boda, Hank and George and the harbor master too. Here and I'll come over in the middle like that. Hello. I was just tidying up my desk and I found these models. Oh, I carved them a long, long time ago. When, when I was a sailor on a ship. Oh, back then, I, I made models of everybody on board the ship. Oh, 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 look, I forgot about this model. Oh, this fellow? Yes. He was on that ship, too. He always used to throw my hat overboard. He was a bully. He was a bully, and I didn't like him at all. You know, I almost wanted to leave the ship because of him. Not too long ago, there was a bully right here in the big harbor. Yeah. Oh, gave Theodore a pretty rough time of it, too. You know, I'll never forget that story. Theodore was floating on his way to work one day. Good morning, Owen, he called up to the giant oil rig. Theodore just loved saying good morning to everyone in the big harbor. It was a warm, wonderful feeling. A feeling like everyone on the whole ocean was his friend. Oh, hi, Theodore, replied Owen in a very quiet voice. Owen is usually a very loud oil rig, but not today. And even from way down there, Theodore could tell that all was not right with Owen. Well, what's the matter, Owen? He said. Well, replied Owen, a new tug is coming to the harbor. A new tug? What's his name? Asked Theodore. Right away, he, he wanted to meet the new tug. His name is Oliver the Vast, said Owen quietly. He's an ocean tug. I don't really like him. No siree, Bob. I know Oliver. It was George. Oh, I met him out on the ocean once. What's he coming here for? To take me out on the ocean to work, replied Owen. Well, when George heard this, he frowned a great big frown. Well, I could take you, Owen, he said. I'm big enough. Is Oliver as big as you are, George? Asked Theodore. I could take Owen, repeated George, not answering Theodore's question. And anyway, Oliver isn't very friendly. So that's why Owen isn't happy about Oliver moving him, thought Theodore. I bet I'll be friends with Oliver, he announced. I'm friends with everyone. The next morning, the dispatcher gave Theodore a big job. Moving Shelburne, the sea barge. Theodore felt big himself, moving the jumbo barge for the first time. Just then... Theodore saw a tugboat he'd never seen before, heading into the harbor. That must be Oliver, he said. Must be, said Shelburne slowly. Shelburne is a very slow sea barge. I, I bet he's a whole smokestack taller than George, gasped Theodore. And then something awful happened. Hey, get out of my way shouted Oliver. The big tug rumbled right up and bumped Theodore away from Shelburne. That's what I do. Well, at first, Theodore didn't know which felt worse. The hurt or the surprise. Well, why'd you do that? I move big barges like this, snorted Oliver. The big tug took Theodore's special job away from him right in front of Shelburne and Benjamin Bridge and the Ferry Twins and everyone. And then Theodore felt an even worse feeling than before. The feeling that there was nothing he could do about it. Nothing. Except go home. The following morning, all the tugs headed off to work again. Oliver came rumbling right up behind Theodore as if he'd been waiting for him.
Theodore put on his friendliest face and slowed down for Oliver to catch up. This time, he was determined to make friends with the new tub. But Oliver gave Theodore a great big butt from the back. It took his breath away with a whoosh. Theodore just couldn't believe Oliver had bumped him again. Sure, other tugs had bumped him before, but it was always meant to be fun. This bump really hurt. Hey, you gonna cry now? said Oliver in a laughing voice. Theodore tried to make a brave face. No, he finally managed to say. But inside he was still shaking. And that's when Oliver backed up and bumped him again. Even harder this time. Ow! Theodore couldn't help but cry out loud. He gathered his courage and turned towards the bigger tug. Don't do that! I don't like it. Well, Oliver backed up as if he was going to give Theodore another bump. He said he doesn't like that. It was George. He'd been watching the whole thing. Leave my friend alone, shouted George. Oliver kept on staring straight at Theodore, as if George wasn't even there. I guess a little tug like you needs other tugs to fight for him," he said in a voice that made Theodore feel very, very small. "We don't need you at all in this harbor," rumbled George. "I can move Owen as well as you can. Why don't you just go home?" Oliver just turned and floated off toward his dock as if he had all the time in the world. Theodore wondered when he would see Oliver again. And he wondered, what if George wasn't there the next time? That afternoon, when Theodore was finished work, he set off for home. Each little sound he heard made his engine skip a beat. He was sure Oliver would race out from behind every corner and bump him. Oh no! Groaned Theodore. It was Oliver. Float away! A voice deep inside him said. Theodore started to cross the harbor, out of the way of Oliver. He could almost hear those awful words again. Little tug, little tug. No, I'm not going to float away. Theodore turned back towards Oliver and rumbled his engine as to say, "I'm not afraid of you." But Oliver kept on coming straight towards him. That's when Theodore knew that Oliver was going to bump him again. I'll, I'll bump him back, thought Theodore, and he got ready. But at the very last moment, Theodore decided to turn and float away. Then Oliver began to chase him. Theodore could almost feel the big tug's bumpers on his back. His engine pounded deep in his hull as he raced away. Is smaller than Oliver, but he's also quick and clever. Theodore hurried under Owen the oil rig to hide. Oliver looked and looked, but he couldn't see Theodore anywhere. Theodore turned off his engine and tried not to breathe, tried not to make even the tiniest sound. Out there, somewhere, waiting for him. Well, even from way up there, Owen could tell that all was not right with Theodore. What's the matter, Theodore? He called down. Oh, nothing," replied Theodore, trying not to sound afraid.、Uh, that new tug is just unfriendly. Yes, he is very unfriendly," agreed Owen.、Uh, do you want me to talk to him for you? No, I don't need you to," replied Theodore in his biggest voice. "I'm not a little tug." Theodore searched and searched for reasons why Oliver didn't like him. Maybe it 
Maybe it is because I'm not big enough, he thought. Theodore had never felt so alone. I always make friends with everyone. Finally, when it was very dark and very late, and the harbor was very, very still, Theodore floated out from his hiding place and hurried home to the great ocean dock. All the other tugs were fast asleep. Theodore? Who's there? Theodore was so startled he nearly jumped out of his bumpers. Oh, it was the dispatcher. Theodore, said the dispatcher, where have you been? I've been waiting up for you. I've been, uh, I'm just uh, out, replied Theodore. Well, said the dispatcher, you better get some sleep now. Tomorrow is a busy day. Tomorrow, thought Theodore. The thought of another day hiding from Oliver made him feel sick. Suddenly, Theodore knew what he had to do. Um, uh, can I ask you something? Yes, Theodore, said the dispatcher. Theodore took a deep breath and told the dispatcher all about Oliver the bully. First, I tried to make friends, explained Theodore. And then I was going to bump him back, but I guess, well, I couldn't. I'm very proud of you, Theodore, said the dispatcher in a gentle voice. You, you are? said Theodore, surprised. But, but I didn't do anything. Glad you didn't try and deal with this bully by yourself, the dispatcher went on. I think that would have only made things worse. Yes, yes, I, I guess you're right, agreed Theodore. Now, Theodore, I won't always be able to help you, said the dispatcher with a smile in his voice. But this time, I think I can. Early the next morning, the dispatcher sent Oliver, the ocean tug, back home. He gave Theodore another big job, moving Shelburne, the sea barge. And George, well, George was given the job to move Owen out to the ocean. Good morning, Owen, said Theodore. Good morning, George. Good morning, Theodore, called George. See you soon. Yes, sir, Bob, boomed Owen. Theodore just loved saying good morning to everyone in the big harbor. It was such a, a warm, wonderful feeling. A feeling like everyone on the whole ocean was his friend. Well, I'm glad Theodore took care of that problem with the bully. Well, what got me started on that bully problem? Oh, of course, my models. I guess it's time that I put them away now. Oh, I missed this one. Oh. oh, this fellow always had great stories to tell. Oh, and this fellow. Oh, he was always trying to make us laugh. What a clown. Oh, he's always chasing everybody all around the place. Well, thanks for visiting us here in the Big Harbor. We'll see you all again next time. And we'll see you all again next time, too. Theodore. He's a tugboat and a friendly tugboat. A friendly tugboat, too.